Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you uh, something I did in the code 2 and if you haven't played it yet, go play that first, it's really awesome and also this contains a huge spoiler on the code 2 so definitely play that first uh, or this wouldn't, wouldn't be a surprise to you when you play it so you might know what I'm gonna show you here um, it's the clock in the code, so let's check out first how this works Set my game mode to 2 and that will kill me so then when I walk into the clock everything will go into slow motion and you'll move slower and then all the spiders are frozen another thing uh, the way to solve this puzzle is by climbing up and sleeping first and then going back to kill yourself. So let's do that here. And now kill myself. And then you'll respawn over here. So let me show you how this works. Uh, I used uh, a filter actually, I just created a filter and that's the, the technique I used to freeze the spiders. Uh, I, I created two rooms uh, looking almost identical except for the spiders. Here they are moving and here they are frozen. And here uh, for the code I, I didn't really use that filter, I used NBT Explorer. But now I created that filler, so and that's really handy, so you can uh, download that, the link is in the description. Anyway, I'm going to show you the redstone behind this, because there is, the clock is here. And when you step in it, that will trigger these spawners, and that will trigger this pressure plate, which is going to teleport you. Um, also, I used a lot of spawners over here, uh, those spawn falling sand entities as you can see they're moving a little bit that's because they're falling sand entities and you you can walk in those blocks so yeah that's that's pretty cool but I used uh, 1.6 I made this map in 1.6 and you didn't have the summon, summon command then back then so uh, that's why I used the spawners anyway I'm gonna show you how uh, how this redstone here works. It's not that much redstone, but it's quite advanced. Basically, every time you uh, these spawners uh, spawn an item on top of this pressure plate that can have that, that can be caused by walking over here or over here. This is the other room with the, the clock where you're frozen, and these spawn an item on that pressure plate. And that's basically going to toggle this redstone block, as you can see. And then it's toggled. And then all this, all these command blocks uh, make you slower, so they give you the, the slowness uh, effect. And uh, set the difficulty to zero to, to make the spiders disappear. And then they're going to teleport you to the other room where the spiders are frozen. And Another thing it does, it's gonna. It, I created this scoreboard, and it, this one is gonna set it to zero. And here, when you you get teleported back, this is gonna uh, set the difficulty back, and it's gonna set the scoreboard time off to one. And let's see, it's gonna remove the effects, and and of course, it's gonna play a, a fancy sound. Yeah. <laughs> so. Why I used this, the time off command, that's because you need to be able to sleep. And here is a bed. Oh, there's also a spider. For some reason they can climb up. And it, you cannot sleep in this bed because it's day. That's caused by this spawner that's going to uh, trick your gist, this pressure plate. And that's going to set the time to day. And what it does as well is it's going to make sure that when you use uh, creative mode to get over here or you're just a pro and you, you just manage to pass by those spiders then you'll be teleported back to
to the beginning I did not get teleported now that was because you will only get teleported back when uh, let's see when your score slept is set to zero so let's do that player set slept zero and now I should be teleported let's see yep and now I'm back over here so uh, how do I detect when you've slept? Well, here is the other room, and this one is actually setting the time to... Oh, oh I got teleported there. Because, wait a minute. Basically, there, uh, as you saw, there is a, a command block over there saying uh, time off, and it sets it to 1 or to 0, and basically that remembers whether you are in the frozen uh, part of the puzzle or in the uh, uh, not non-frozen part of the puzzle. So when you are respawning inside this bat, then this command block, uh, let's see, this command block is gonna teleport you back to that bat over there, but only when the time is not frozen anymore. So that's what that's doing, and if you get teleported, then that's gonna create this slapped and set it to one. So that uh, makes it possible for you to just continue and go to this puzzle. So yeah, that's it. I guess most people just wanted to know how I did the clock uh, because uh, because of the the the, uh, the falling sand sand entities. Um, oh yeah, also I use these uh, trapdoors, that's to prevent them from, from really falling, because if you d uh, break those, let's see, let's see what happens when I do that. As you can see, these uh, move a l quite a lot more, so yeah, that's why I did that and it doesn't really look very nice. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it, I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.